see my video about cranial caps or uh, my son having DOC um, and it's like two big words um, I would definitely leave it here or in the description down below and um, I'm just actually giving you guys or sharing my ideas of um, uh, painting this so um, if you guys don't know what it is um, and if you guys don't have a helmet like this or uh, a baby cap or I call it a baby helmet I know it's called a cranial cap, um, then just go ahead and just keep on watching. But if you guys do, um, if you guys like my decoration or my uh, tutorial, give me a thumbs up and um, go ahead and like my uh, my video too as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys have been here uh, throughout my journey or my, um, my family and my vacations and all that good stuff and motherhood and maybe much more than that, then um, subscribe to me again um, as always and I'm uh, happy to have you here and enjoy this uh, journey with my son so so it's actually this I know I actually showed it to you guys um, previously um, and I sort of talked about it a little bit about it if you guys have any questions let me know so it just looks like this it's um it's mostly for babies who um, who has I know a lot of people actually uh, call it a flathead syndrome so I don't know if they were born like that I don't know if it's because uh, I let it or let him sleep on his back most of the time and I know he needs to be in, on his stomach most of the time but as a busy mom um, sometimes that's pretty tough um, but I've never had the experience before and um, I'm hoping to actually carry it to, to help him um, for, so he doesn't have to deal with, um, you know, deformality um, on his head. So, um, enough rambling. If you guys need more information, go ahead and um, leave a comment down below and I will be gladly answer any questions that you may have. So, um, I will show you guys and tell you guys what I got. I got these from um, just from Walmart. Um, I know they're all in one place, so I went to Walmart and grabbed these. Um, and these are all made. I actually don't have these painting. And um, I advise you guys not getting um, anything, uh, any um, cheap brushes. Uh, so I was told cheap brushes is not gonna work. So I went and grabbed um, brushes for my son. I mean, not for my son, but for to paint this so I got these um, played um, let's see I think it's for folk art trusted quality washes and fine details I got the flat brush uh, bristle type gold tackle and brush name wash best best for base coating and washes clean brushes with miles of the water okay so I, I will definitely leave all the prices and the names down below if you guys are interested I believe I think I'm gonna use the one in the middle and then um, I got these uh, you only need one of them but they don't come with one basic home brush so one of them is okay for these and then um, these are the stickers I got I know that you can actually get decals and Etsy and all that stuff I didn't want to wait anymore um, and I didn't want to pay $25 so instead, I got these 97 cents cute uh, uh, stickers from, um, uh, let's see, the brand Everyday Stickers, Sticko. Um, I don't know. I thought one was enough, but the dad said maybe two, so I got two. And then, um, the other, I was going to put his name into these. Um, I thought these were cute and playful from the brand Alphabet. I think it's from the golden. Yeah. So these are really cute and colorful. And then they have glitters in them too as well. So that's gonna be for his name. And then um, for the for the base, uh, 
I'm gonna actually, I got this uh, apple barrel uh, flowers. These are non-toxic, so remember or make sure to actually get non-toxic because um, you wouldn't want your baby to be sniffing or smelling anything that's toxic. They say do not use permanent marker or uh, Sharpie. Um, I wanted to draw some stuff on it, but since they said that, I know I've seen a lot of people doing it, um, but I just didn't want to go that route, so I'd rather just put stickers on it. It's probably safe, and these are st uh, safe for infants too as well. So again, I got this, and then uh, non-toxic too as well, and that's the name brand. Um, and I love these. And then um, the last item that I got um, is this Mod Podge. So, I know there's a mat, but I wanted it glossy, and I already got the mat, so I wanted to actually have like a, the opposite of mat, so which is glossy. I don't know if that is the opposite, but I didn't want matte and matte. I may be trying that next time, but at this point right now, I wanted the gloss um, instead of matte. Um, so, I got the mat for, for this, and then these two as well. So, make sure these are non-toxic for your infants. Um, and then he just started wearing them for this uh, six month. So, that's why, I don't know, like, I've noticed they all look so different. But, but then again, uh, just if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. And we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how I make mine. Um, make sure to not go over um, over this the foam just a, a little to the side so yeah so that's what um, you need to do and then um, so we're gonna go ahead and open um, and then we're gonna um, go ahead and open that. This is new, I haven't um, used it. So, and then make sure you have something on the bottom to actually help prevent it from not spilling.